Hey guys, what's up? Oh jeez, it's been emotional really, that's the final episode of Attack on Titan and we've got the final episode of Breaking Bad coming up. I'm a massive Breaking Bad fan, uh, you know, if you've seen my Heisenberg um, time last drawing video then you'll you know how, how hyped I am for Breaking Bad, but Attack on Titan, the season is over. Um, but once, uh, before I get into that, uh, I just want to give a massive thank you. Uh, I just recently hit 200 subscribers and I know in the bigger scheme of things that might not necessarily be a massive amount but you know it means a lot to me I would have been satisfied with you know 40 50 subscribers or something like that but 200 you know I've had this channel up and running now for a good few months um most of the part of the year so you know I'm <laughs> really really happy with that so if any of you guys want to suggest um something for me you know maybe if I want you know because I'm, I'm thinking of doing like a 200 subscriber special video you know just kind of commemorate the occasion um, so if anybody wants to um, request something that they'd like to see me do, you know, to kind of, um, you know, just basically, yeah, just celebrate, because I've already done my Q&A, so I'm not kind of at a loss as to what to do for it, so, you know, I definitely want us to celebrate something in one way or another, so, yeah, you know, throw forward your suggestions, and, you know, I'll be happy to take something on board, you know, um, but anyway, um, less of that, uh, and more on the final episode of Attack on Titan. Now, I haven't been reviewing this weekly for a reason, you know, I've been mostly enjoying other people reviewing it and like seeing their reactions and more so kind of integrating with like, you know, them in like the comment section and things like that. So I haven't really been reviewing seasonal anime or see, you know, manga or anything like that on a weekly basis. I didn't want to clog up my channel, but I thought I'd just do this video to give you my final thoughts and impressions on something that I just love so much. I mean, Attack on Titan from the get go has just been unapologetic, you know, high octane and just, it, it, you've just been craving more, you know, the, the episodes are relatively short and once they end, you know, the, the thing is with Attack on Titan, for me, it's just been masterfully paced from the get-go, you know, even, even with the filler elements in there, you know, the, the, they've been, you know, masterfully woven into, you know, the, the canon story itself from the get-go, you know, we've got the introduction, you know, the, um, the fall of Zinkanshina, and the, the whole battle for Trost arc, you know, and, and then the whole expedition arc, you know, the night before the expedition and the 57th expedition beyond the walls, and then that leading off into, um, the you know, the raid on Stoas, which, you know, kind of capped off the series. And, you know, th there's been a lot of discussion as to where the Attack on Titan anime was going to go towards the end, if it was just going to be capped off at the end, you know, with like a filler ending, you know, just kind of wrap everything up. But from the way it ended, I mean, I'm not necessarily up to date with the manga like I'm literally I'm still on volume 5 so the anime is ahead of what I've read so each episode of the anime has been completely new to me you know I haven't spoiled myself by reading the manga online so please no no spoilers in the comment section I'm literally just up to date with where it is at the anime so um it's looking likely that it's going to be a season two, you know, it ended on a bit of a cliffhanger, even if it was a filler ending, even if, even if that was a filler ending, you know, it's still quite a cliffhanger, you know, seeing the titan in the wall, you know, having, um, having Anne in like stasis, you know, in like uh, suspended animation in that, you know, big diamond thing, and I'm, what, that's one thing I'm really glad about, I'm, I'm glad Anne wasn't killed off, because I really like her as a character, um, even though she's pure evil, or, but I can't really say she's pure evil, it, it's not, really known what her motives were, you know, everything's still relatively, you know, a mystery. The only ones who you can really see are, you know, corrupt and evil are the military police, you know, from the way they, you know, the, the, the handle themselves, you know, selling equipment on the black market and all that, you know, that we've seen in previous episodes. But um, to end off the series, it really was an excellent episode. The, the, the battle between Eren and Annie, you know, Eren just completely losing himself, you know, saying he's going to destroy the world, you know, it, it, it just completely absorbed by hatred and rage it was amazing to see and he, he kind of developed more you know in physical strength as well you know we, we'd never really seen Eren's titan form progress that much other than the actual titan form itself but he seemed to have like some you know extracurricular abilities you know that those kind of like flames and you know those like weird cracks in his body and things like that you know it, 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 it seems to be the it seems that every time he becomes a titan um, he develops more, he, he gains like more power and more awareness of himself, so that's pretty cool to see, you know, I'm really interested in reading further in the manga and seeing where it's off. We've had a lot of Attack on Titan news lately as well, obviously, um, Hajime, Isana, Hajime Isayama has just um, revealed that he's going to be capping off the entire series at around the 20 volume mark. And there's been a lot of discussion um, in the anime community, you know, debating as to whether or not he will stick to his guns and, you know, cap it off at 20 volumes or if, you know, the, the, the money 
like he gets from it, you know, will lure him into, you know, kind of um, carrying on the series further, you know, um, because it's it's unquestionable that Attack on Titan is a complete cash cow, you know, it, it's bringing in the money and people are loving it, so it's undeniable that's going to get a second season, I think, and it, you know we need more Attack on Titan. You know, it's just it's just phenomenal. It's excellent. Um, Mikasa uh, probably I would say is my favorite character in, in in the whole anime so far. Um, I feel like she's the one who's had the most character development. I mean, her backstory seemed to be like the saddest, with you know her parents getting killed, and then you know her almost being sold into you know in, into servitude and slavery. Um, you know, she, she she's like the last Asian you know in 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 humanity. So you know, she's she's a valued commodity in that respect. You know in the good aspects and the bad aspects, you know, she, she can be used, you know, for, for crazy things. <laughs> People would have done crazy things to her if she'd have been slow sold into slavery. So it just goes to show that even though humanity is still compact and confined behind, behind these walls, it's still really no different. I mean, whether humanity, you know, has reign over the entire planet or it's still compacted in a tiny small city, you know, it, it, there's still attributes that you see in humanity that, you know, it's, it, it, humanity basically is exactly the same. It, it, it doesn't change whether you wipe them all out or whether they you know have free reign over it everywhere. You know, p people are still selfish and people still retain, you know, that selfish desire to look out for themselves. You know, and th th that's one thing I loved about Attack on Titan. It's unrelent. It's unrelenting in that respect. You know, we, we see death and you know destruction all over the place, and there's no real coming back from this. I'm really glad Hajime Isayama. Um, didn't go through with uh, having this published in Jumper because it would have been completely different. It probably would have been cancelled by the end of, you know, by 10, 20 chapters. You know, he wanted Aaron to be more goofy and things like that, and it just wouldn't have worked. How the story has been written, you know, and how just unapologetic it is in dealing with death um, is it just, it, it's masterfully written. And, uh, you know, now that Hajime Siyama has got, um, you know, a spin off series and you know, like we did the prequel to Attack on Titan and things like that, you know, it just goes to show how much money Attack on Titan is making at the franchise in general, you know, it's probably one of, going to be one of them anime and manga that's going to go down in history. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really hyped for a season two. Um, I'm definitely going to be buying the Blu-rays that come out next year, um, and I'm really interested to see how Funimation um, dub the anime as well, it's going to be really interesting to see Attack on Titan in an English dub track, you know, I wonder... Yeah, I'm so accustomed to hearing the Japanese voices for Eren and Mikasa and Armin and you know all these awesome characters. It's gonna be really interesting to hear them, you know, hear them in English. So, um, yeah, uh, let's see what time have we got. I'm timing myself with this. Yeah, uh, probably about thirty seconds left. Um, as a final note, um, I figure it's best to remain fair and unbiased uh, with my opinions on the series. I mean. You know, I do think Attack on Titan is absolutely amazing, but it's far from the best that I've seen. Um, the cinematography and, you know, the OST are just absolutely stunning and sensational. I genuinely enjoy the music. In fact, I would gladly go out and buy like, the CD or the audio track or something just so I could listen to it, just, you know, casually. You know, I, I genuinely enjoy it. Um, the, 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 um, the, the production company that um, you know was founded, you know, under Production IG, have done a really, really good job. They've really pulled out all the stops in, um, you know, in, in animating it and making it feel, give it that real movie esque quality to it. Even though it's a weekly serialization, you know, weekly series, it just feel like you're you're actually watching, you know, something of like a, a movie cal, you know, that caliber. Mm -hmm. um, the cinematography is just excellent, um, but. There are elements of it that did kind of, you know, I do have my gripes about the series. Um, as I, you know, just said a few minutes ago, uh, Mikasa is my favourite character, but Eren now, I do like him as a character, but there are aspects about him that just kind of annoy me. Um, you know, the, the emotional torture he goes through when he sees his mother being killed and, you know, his friends dying one after the other, it, you know, it, it, he's, too, he's too impulsive. And you know the, the way he deals with it, he just you know oh I'm gonna kill everyone, I'm gonna kill all these titans. You know it just seems relatively unrealistic to how that would really play out. You know I mean he's a young lad at the end of the day, um, so it, it doesn't really 
I, I just didn't really feel any real emotional depth from him. All I really got from him was anger and fury. I mean, that's understandable, you know, that of course he would be angry, but I would like to see other emotions from him other than that, you know. I mean, I, I'm not saying I would, you know, want him to be, you know, like a pussy, you know, <coughs> Shinji Ikari, you know, nothing like that. Um, but I would like to see a more emotional range from him as a character um, because he just seems relatively one-dimensional just as the kind of impulsive I'm gonna slaughter all the titans kind of guy I mean that's cool and obviously you know it's a dark show then so you're not to be expected but you know Attack on Titan has broken enough cliches to be able to um, you know handle a main character being you know more you know l less emotionally driven and you know He's, he's got his rational aspects about him, but, you know, just like I said, I'd like to see a more emotional range for him. I just, you know, when season two comes, because I think that's inevitable, um, I would like to see a lot more character development from from, um, from Eren, because Armin already has the potential to be even more developed than Eren. I mean, you know, Mikasa's got her character development to an extent, which is cool. Um, Armin is displaying attributes similar to Erwin, you know, showing that he's, you know, he's developing that leadership from, you know, the, the soft, shy kid that he was, you know, I think he's got amazing character development, but now Eren is just kind of trapped in this one-dimensional kind of box, and I would like to see other things, you know, play out, and, you know, other different circumstances, you know, to see more of a, you know, more of a, of a emotional range for him, so, you know, that's my only really gripe about the series, but other than that, Attack on Titan really has been an enjoyable ride. You know, I would recommend it to anybody, I'll probably give it a solid 8.5 out of 10, you know, for, from what I've seen, because obviously I don't watch that much anime, I'm mostly a manga reader, you know, anime is still kind of relatively new to me, you know, watching it on a regular basis, at least, so, you know, um, give me your, your guys' thoughts, are you hyped for season 2? Of Attack on Titan, you know, that's probably a, a rhetorical question right there, you know, everybody's hyped for it, um, but I would like to hear anybody who has any, you know, different opinions on Attack on Titan um, as a whole, because, you know, everybody's so hyped for it, you know, it's arguable that it's overhyped, you know, um, you know, what, what what are your opinions on, you know, the main characters, who would you like to see progress more, um, you know, please, again, no manga spoilers, because I am not up to date with the manga, um, so yeah, uh, that has been my final thoughts on Attack on Titan. Again, I reiterate, thank you for 200 subscribers. Um, I want to do a 200 subscriber special, so throw me your suggestions as to what you would like to see me do. Uh, even if you want me to do another Q&A, why not? <laughs> so, yeah, uh, Archangel Manga, signing out.